we are going to learn heme catabolism bilirubin metabolism and a hyperbilirubinemia state called jaundice to begin with that when new red blood cells are delivered from bone marrow into circulatory system they normally circulate an average of 120 days the metabolic system of old red blood cells become progressively less active and the cells become more and more fragile old red blood cells rupture in reticuloendothelial system that mainly consist of kaffir cells of liver and macrophages of spleen and bone marrow red blood cells are phagocytosed and destroyed and their hemoglobin is released hemoglobin is first split into heme and globin globin is a protein so it will break down into amino acids that are reused to form new proteins heme undergoes oxidation releasing iron and bilirubin the process is carried out by heme oxygenase iron is passed back into the blood where it binds with transferrin and travels to the bone marrow to be reused for erythropoiesis it can also be stored in liver as ferritin The bilirubin here is further reduced to a bile pigment called bilirubin by this enzyme bilirubin reductase. The bilirubin produced here is unconjugated bilirubin. It is released into the blood. The unconjugated bilirubin is a lipid soluble molecule and it cannot travel through blood in an unbound form. So it combines with plasma albumin and is transported throughout the blood in bilirubin albumin combination. The unconjugated bilirubin is absorbed in hepatocytes by facilitated diffusion while albumin remains in circulation. Inside the hepatocytes bilirubin undergoes glucuronidation. This process makes bilirubin more water soluble which allows it to be excreted out of the body efficiently. Glucuronidation is carried out by a family of enzymes called uridine diphosphate glucuronyl transferase UGT. or specifically UGT1A1 in case of bilirubin the unconjugated bilirubin is now conjugated bilirubin and it is water soluble it is secreted into the intestines via biliary system the conjugated bilirubin travels down the bile duct where it enters the duodenum through ampulla of water In the last part of small intestine and in the colon conjugated bilirubin is exposed to so much bacteria and the bacterial enzymes convert it into a substance called urobilinogen which is highly soluble urobilinogens are partly reabsorbed and undergoes enterohepatic circulation and return to liver to be processed again The fraction of urobilinogen that is not cleared by liver will enter general circulation and it is taken up by kidneys and excreted out of the body. When urine is exposed to air, the urobilinogen is oxidized to urobilin which is a yellow pigment giving urine its characteristic yellow color. While majority of urobilinogen in the intestines is oxidized to a brown pigment stercobilin that is apparent in feces bilirubin metabolism is important because high amounts of bilirubin in blood can lead to jaundice that is a morbid condition characterized by yellowness of eyes and skin normal serum bilirubin levels in a healthy adult are 0.3 to 1.2 mg per dl jaundice become evident when serum bilirubin levels rise above 2 to 2.5 mg per dl jaundice can be categorized into three groups first category is prehepatic jaundice in which there is high levels of unconjugated bilirubin only the prehepatic jaundice can be caused by hemolytic anemias in which there is increased breakdown of red blood cells for example sickle cell anemia and thalassemia The unconjugated bilirubin is insoluble in water. It cannot be excreted out of the body even when its levels are high in blood.
The next category is hepatic jaundice that is also called mixed type because there is both unconjugated and conjugated hyperbilirubinemia. For example, there are genetic disorders like krigler najjar syndrome and Gilbert syndrome in which there is decreased activity of bilirubin conjugating enzyme that is UGT1A1 or the total absence of its activity. There are other genetic disorders that cause impaired biliary excretion of bilirubin for example Dubin-Johnson syndrome and Rotor syndrome. The last category is post-hepatic jaundice in which there is only conjugated bilirubin accumulation in blood. It can be due to bile duct obstruction, uh, due to bile stone or due to carcinoma of head of pancreas. Then comes the neonatal jaundice. The hepatic machinery for conjugating and excreting bilirubin is not fully mature until the two weeks of age and almost every newborn develops mild unconjugated hyperbilirubinemia. This may be exacerbated by breastfeeding because breast milk contains bilirubin deconjugating enzyme that is called beta-glucuronidase. Therefore, sustained jaundice in newborn is abnormal.